Hello everyone. Welcome back to our virtual classroom. This week we're going to continue with visual arts. Today's art lesson was an idea recommended by Miss Alice. We will be using acrylic paints and a ball chain necklace. But before we continue to our lesson, I want to share something with you. As we expand and design our art studio, I was thinking we could designate a wall to put our art projects, kind of like a mini gallery of the week. But I really want to hear from you. This is your classroom. Tell me what you think. What would you like to see? What would you like to put in a classroom? If we were designing our very own art studio, what would you like to see in it? Let me know. Put it in the comments. Send me a text. Send me an email. Just get your ideas to me. Thank you. Hi everyone. Welcome to our art class. Today we are going to try a project Miss Alice from the office sent me. This project we are going to need a beaded necklace, which I happen to have one, but if you don't, Dollar Tree sells them. The paints we're going to use today are going to be bright blue, a little turquoise, Let's see here. How about we throw in a little green? Arlen told me she wanted ocean color, so I'm trying to pick out anything oceany. There we go. How about we use those four colors? Okay. And here's the process. First, we have to cover. First, we have to cover. First, we have to cover our canvas, which, by the way, also. Dollar Tree. I'm pretty impressed because they're carrying a lot of art supplies right now. We have to cover this with one part white paint and one part glue, which Mod Podge works as well. The reason we're going to do that is because in order to do this art project, the bottom has to be wet. In order for it to stay wet and fluid, the glue works with the paint so it flows. And you'll see what I mean as soon as we get started. Since this is going to dry pretty quickly because I have the fans on in the house, first I'm going to do the design part. So this chain is going to be dipped in paint and the colors of the paint will determine the colors of the abstract art pattern that we're going to do here. Now I know it sounds a little confusing right now, but as you see it, you'll kind of be able to see it in your mind too. So let's start with making a little pattern of the colors. I just put down some wax paper because I don't have a lot of space to work. And I want you guys to be able to see this as close as you can. So I'm going to start with the blue. And I'm going to put a little bit of blue. I'm going to leave a space, a little more blue. And I'm pretty much making almost like the letter U so that the chain can be completely saturated in the paint. In case we haven't used that word before, saturated just means completely wet with the paint. So the first color I put down was the bright blue. Now we're going to go with the Laguna blue. Oh, and you can't see the whole view, can you? Let me see if I can pull this down a little bit. Or up, let's see here. There you go, that's close enough. You can kind of sort of see it. I'm trying to get more light for you guys too because the last video was a little bit dark. But we're working on it. We are improving as we go along, right? That's how we do it in art. So as you can see, the colors we have now, we've got the aqua and we've got the blue. We're gonna throw a little line in there for some contrast. And when you guys do this, you can use absolutely any color that you want. Any favorite colors, any mix of colors. When you're done, it could be a gift. It could be something to put in your room. You could use the colors that go in your bedroom best. I don't want to drop the phone in my paint. Here we go. That's much better. Okay. Now I'm going to put a line of lime green. Lime green. These colors remind me of Miami Beach. I don't know why. Almost wanted to throw a little pink in there. 
What do you guys think? Should we go crazy and throw some pink? Let's go crazy and throw some pink. How about some, ooh, diva pink. I bet your sister Mary Ellen would like that. Let's throw in a little pink in there. That'll give it a nice splash of contrast. So it's still oceany colors, but you know, it's Miami, so we gotta throw a little flamingo in there. Okay. Okay, guys. So we have our little palette of colors for this string, okay? And now we are going to prepare the canvas for the art. So I am going to pour in here in a little jar that I have. Let me see if I can show you. Over here, I'm pouring, I already poured some. So I'm pouring the glue. It's half glue, half white paint. Okay, and that's for the bottom. Okay. Alrighty, then we are going to mix that up. Okay, and then we're gonna put a nice thick layer on our canvas, okay? And it needs to be wet when we put the chain on because that's what's going to make it flow. If it's not wet, it's not going to flow as nicely. And there I got messy, but that's okay. Because what's our rule? There's no mistakes in art. Just trying to go too fast. I'm trying to make this another five minute lesson, but I'm thinking we may go a little bit over. Okay. This is so relaxing. Every time I paint, I remember how much I love to paint. When I came to the Marion Center, that's all we did. If you guys remember, we painted everything. We painted coconuts, we painted palm trees, we painted palm tree trunks, we even painted seeds. That was pretty cool. Okay, I think it's pretty saturated now. Okay. All right, so, doesn't have to be perfect. All righty, so now we're going to take our chain. This is the fun part. If I don't make a mess, which I probably will, but that's okay. We are going to put the chain gently down on the pattern of colors. Okay, and we're gonna make sure that gets as saturated as possible. So I'm just gonna push it down a little bit, make sure it gets in there, absorbs a little bit of the color, because the metal doesn't absorb too much color, but, okay. Wipe that off. Okay, now, this is the first time I'm doing this, so, that wasn't supposed to happen, but that's okay. All right, let's see. So you lift it up from the paint, and now we're gonna put it on the canvas. So when it goes on the canvas, you're gonna make little swirlies. Okay, now. Make sure you guys can see that. Okay, now the trick is to hold it here and gently pull it. And as you pull it, it's going to be making the art, the abstract art. Not too shabby, huh? Alrighty, let me rinse out the chain. And I will be right back so we can put another little design on that. The video that I saw said this was for the beginners. So this is the easiest one of the videos that they have to teach you how to do this. So even if you mess up a little, like I did, which I always mess up a little, it's okay because it's abstract. It doesn't have to look a certain way. It just has to be your art, your choices. 
Okay, let's go for a second one, guys. Wish me luck. I wish you were here. Okay. The top of that didn't get too wet, so I'm just going to dump it in there a little bit. There we go. Okay, so let's put this one right about here. What do you think? The canvas is hopefully still wet enough that we could do this. All right, here we go. I'm going to pull it. Okay, you guys want to go for one more? Fill in the space over here. All right, let me rinse the chain and I'll be right back. Okay, and we are back for our little abstract stem number three. Let's see if I can get it right. Oops. It's a little bit challenging to keep your hand steady. And probably if you guys decide to do this, I'm thinking maybe you should wear some gloves. I've always got paint on me and my hair, on my face, but it washes off. But you guys might wanna be a little neater and you can use gloves and that way your hands stay clean and when you're done, you can just throw it away. Okay, here we go. I kind of like the design that it's making over here. I'm gonna show you in a minute. It made like little hearts, it's so cute. Okay, so let's do this one right about here. I think I just moved the camera by accident, but I'll fix it. Okay, all right, let me see here. There we go, sorry guys. All right, there we go, okay. So you put your fingers here and you pull it. And there's your third one. See, now if you notice, the paint in the back is starting to dry. So it's not gonna flow as well. Now we could get all crazy in here and do a bunch of them, but since this is our beginners, I wanna keep it simple because I'd love to see you guys try this too. And then you can send me a picture. This is what I was trying to show you. You see right here? It looks like a little heart. Well, abstract hearts. Okay, so let me move this here. So here we have our five minute whole string abstract art. Let me see here. There we go. You see? Uh huh. That was a lot of fun. I gotta tell you, it came out better than I thought. I was really thinking I was gonna make a mess which I did, but you know, that's okay. All right, so another thing we could do, if you'd like to embellish it a little bit more, if you wanna add a little tiny something, you could do, let's see, what can you do? You can take a paintbrush and take the back of the paintbrush. You don't have some good light. Let me see if I get you better. Oops, okay, that didn't happen. We'll start. So I was trying to get a little more light here and my phone went flying again, but that's okay. All right, here we go. So let's see, Let me. I really want you guys to be able to see it better. And I'm not back, okay, back. There we go, okay. So this is a better view so you can get a better idea. So you take a paintbrush like this and you're gonna use this end, this end right here. Not the brush, this end. And then we're going to take, okay, we're going to put a little bit of pink in here, okay? We're going to dip the brush, the back part of the brush, in the pink, okay? That's if you want to do this. You don't have to. You can leave it as it is because it's perfect. But if you want to get a little more creative, you could go one, two, three. Okay, and that'll just add a little bit more of an accent to your abstract art. Okay, and you don't have to just use the pink. I love pink, but you can use green, you can use blue, you can even use another color if you like. 
if you want to get even more creative than that, which I know you guys love to be creative, since we're going for all the Miami colors, we could throw in a little orange in there. Okay. And this time, instead of using the back part of the brush, we're going to use the small part right here. Let's see if you can see that. Okay. And we're going to make little dots here. You got to be careful not to put your wrist on the paint. I, of course, have paint all over me, but you know, that's kind of me. But if you guys, if you go like this, you have to be careful because you will get paint on you. Okay, just three little dots there. And I'm thinking it looks pretty good. I'm going to leave it alone so I don't overdo it. But you guys can do anything you like. Thanks for watching. Until our next project.